the sikha we're learning here has so many points. It has so many things to bring on, so many insights. It's almost like each um, keta, each section, um, has its own powerful insight that you literally prefer bring about and learn about and delve into. It's a very powerful sikha. And some of the ideas over there are like so fundamental that a person who has just been introduced to the Rebbe's Torah, chances are has heard some of these ideas. And a lot of these ideas are also quite original compared to other places. So let's talk about, I'm going to focus on various insights that he, the Rebbe brings out in the sikha, one after another, just hit, hit, hit. Number one, what did the Miraglim do wrong? That's what he talks about in Ois Beis. What the Miraglim did wrong, after all, they were sent to find out what to do, how to conquer the land. They come back, they see a land that's unconquerable, impossible to invade. So they come back and say the truth. So what, why are they accused? What did they do wrong? And the answer is, because Moshe Rabbeinu asked them how to do it not if to do it. The famous how and if. Moshe Rabbeinu Shalcha, Moshe Rabbeinu sent them Livada to find out which method and which way is the best and easiest way to conquer the land naturally. Because Hashem doesn't do miracles for no reason. And therefore, if you can avoid miracles, like he quotes from Dashas Haran, which is another powerful insight, that Hagdama Hashem, this is in, in Ha'or 6, Hagdama Aleph, the first introduction, Shechafetz Hashem Yisbarach, that Hashem wants L'kayim in Hagi Shalolam, to keep the way the world runs, Bechol Mada Efshar, as much as possible. Beshaa Teva Yokol Be'enav, and that nature is precious in Hashem's eyes, Lo Yishaneyo Hashem will not change it, Elo L'Tzarech HaKrechi, only under necessity. So Hashem loves nature. And unless nature has to be broken, he won't. So therefore, Moshe Rabbeinu sends messengers how to do it. But they should have been confident that because Hashem said we're going to the land, that we will. The fact that they came back with a, a different maskana, a different bottom line, that we can't go up, that was the problem. So that's point number one. Point number two, based on point number one, in Ois Gimel. That a fundamental idea when a person, Yisoyim Ikri, not only an idea, a fundamental foundation in keeping mitzvahs is knowing that if Hashem gave you a mitzvah, don't ask if, ask how. In other words, if Hashem gave it to you, it means you can do it. Because even a human being with Seichel, a, 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 a human being that makes decisions based on intellect, would never ask you to do something that you can't do. Especially if the person who's asking to do it is literally the person who created it. He created you. He created the commandment. He gave you the strength to keep the commandment, and he's telling you to keep the commandment. So obviously, Hashem knows you could do it. LMI, but after you know that, don't rely on miracles because you have to keep the mitzvah of Teva in a way of nature. The only way you'd make a world uh, home for Hashem in this world is when you don't do things miraculously, but you do it within nature. So now you have to challenge yourself to make a world for Hashem here. So you just have to know how. But the if is not a question, because Hashem, the manufacturer of the product, you, and the method, the mitzvah, told you you could do it. And he wouldn't, even a human being wouldn't give you something you can't. That's point number two, insight number two. And that in our 11, based on that second insight, he says that's the famous reason why the, the, the story with the Alter Rebbe that didn't want to do Kiddush Levana when his boat stopped in a miraculous way, he insisted that it would be stopped again in a natural way because he didn't want to do mitzvahs in a miraculous way because ultimately it has to be done naturally. Then, insight number three. Because this is shaykh, this idea is in all mitzvahs, where does it come across? Where was the story represented? Where did it manifest itself in the mitzvah of going into the Holy Land, into Eretz Yisrael? What's Eretz Yisrael? Eretz Asher Eini Hashem Lekechaba, the land where Hashem's always looking. In other words, where Ashkacha Yena, where Hashem's Ashkacha practice, is in a deeper, more revealed way. He says, Pnimi Vigali more deeper, in other words, more internalized and more revealed, 
than any other country. So you feel get lefkat, you feel godliness in Eretz Yisrael more than any other place. So bringing Kedusha into a physical place in, a, in, in, in every mitzvah that we do, where does that, what's it similar to? It's similar to coming into the Holy Land. Just like walking into Eretz Yisrael means that you're, bring, you're seeing godliness, so to every mitzvah we do is bringing godliness. So this idea of bringing godliness, and where does it represent itself? Where does the story tell itself in the story about coming into the Holy Land with Merayim? Interesting, in the era of 14, it's a question I've always had. This explains why we don't have a mitzvah every single day to remember the fact that we went into Eretz Yisrael. It's interesting, as an aside, most people don't even know what day we went into Eretz Yisrael. Everyone knows what day we went out of Mitzrayim, Tesla of Nisan. What day did we go into Eretz Yisrael? Yud Nisan. And according to some opinions, that's actually the reason of Shabbos Hagadol. But most people don't know that. It's not a big deal. And we don't have a mitzvah to remember it. We have a mitzvah to remember Kriyas Yamsuf, Matan Torah, like he says, there's four words. Vahitsesi, that's Yetzias Mitzrayim. Vigo'alti is Kriyas Yamsuf. Vilakachti is Matan Torah. Vehevesi is I come to Eretz Yisrael. The first three we have a mitzvah to remember. The last one we don't have a mitzvah to remember. We mentioned, I mean, even though Kriyas Yamsuf, it's not one of the Shay's Kriyas, we say it every single day. As Yashir, we have it in Davani. Why? Says the Deborah, the reason you don't have a mitzvah to remember Eretz Yisrael is because every single mitzvah you do is coming into Eretz Yisrael. Every mitzvah that you do is about coming into Eretz Yisrael. You're literally bringing get lecha, you're bringing godliness into a revealed world. You're making machdar Eretz Yisrael, like he brings from the, in the R15. You're making Eretz Yisrael here. So therefore, I don't have to tell you to remember it. You're remembering it every five seconds, every mitzvah you do, which is a mind-blowing idea. You ask somebody, why you don't have to remember the myth of walking into Eretz Yisrael? I don't know, whatever. So it's not that important. It doesn't even make it into the chumash. The Chumash stops literally five seconds before we went into Eretz Yisrael, a month before. Says it ever? No, because every single mitzvah you do is going into Eretz Yisrael. That's why. That's next insight. is another general, in, in other words, all-encompassing That before every single mitzvah a person does, a person has to be misbeiden, has to meditate on the mitzvah they're about to do. Not only the detail of that mitzvah, each mitzvah has its own detail, but rather the general concept that all mitzvahs have in common, and that is, Asher kitshanu b'mitzvahisavitzivanu, that Hashem sanctified us and commanded us to fulfill the mitzvah, and that through the mitzvah we become Kaddish, and we become Tzafsa, we become connected with HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And when do we do this bracha? We do this bracha before the mitzvah, to show that before we do the mitzvah, we have to have the kavana of what we're going to do. So to eliminate that Torah, the famous Bach, that the, the base of English was destroyed, that we didn't bless the Torah first. What does that mean? We didn't make the bracha of, we didn't have the kavana that Nois in Torah, that Kaddish Baruch Hu gave to the Torah. We forgot the, obviously we're learning Torah, but we forgot the idea that we're learning Hashem's Torah. Again, so you have to make the bracha, Birchas Torah, before you daven. When do you do this? Before you learn. Sorry, before you learn, not before you daven. Do this even before you daven, you say Maida'ani. In other words, you're acknowledging before you start anything, there's Dachana. So too, when he went to Eretz Yisrael, what was the mitzvah of Yesudo Seret Knan? They had to check out the land. Moshe Rabbein told them to check out. That is literally to meditate, to get into the headspace, to make Hachana, to be able to go into Eretz Yisrael. And as we said, Eretz Yisrael represents every single mitzvah. And this is the idea, Shlach, that Moshe is the Meshaleach. Shlach Lecha, Hashem said to Moshe, Moshe is the one who sent. So too, the Moshe Rabbeinu within each and every one of us, he says. And that's from Tanya. Tanya explains, Karav Eilecha Adar Moed, how is it so close to you? What's Hashem asking for you just to fear? And the question that Tanya asked in Perikman Beis, it's not so easy to fear Hashem. What do you mean, just? Because you have a Moshe Rabbeinu inside of you. Perikman Beis. So this idea of Shlach, is the fundamental idea of all the parshas in this in this uh, in this sedra in this parsha, shlach, and that's why this goes back to Ois Aleph. We didn't address yet. Why is the name of the parsha shlach? Which seemingly we should have. There's other ideas in this parsha that have nothing to do with the story of the Miraglim. For example, tzitzis, which is something we have to remember every day. So why don't we have the theme of tzitzis in the name? And every and obviously 
Titus is not the beginning of the parsha, but still, if the name is Shlach, it's not just because it's one of the first one of the first words in the parsha. It has to be because it holds the concept of the whole parsha. What's the concept of the whole parsha? He says because the whole idea is Shlach that you get the Koyach from Moshe Rabbeinu, and you have the preparation in every single mitzvah to have the right hachana to be able to go into the mitzvah, and that is in every single mitzvah, including in the mitzvah of Titus. And finally, in Oisvav, the final insight. He says like this, now we have to understand, if it's so important for your pseudo that you have to check out and you have to prepare for a mitzvah, then why did Hashem say, Shlach Lecha, as Rashi said, Ledaitcha, your choice. Why your choice? It should have been non-negotiable. It's so important. And the Rebbe over here says a mind-blowing idea. Because, what does he say? He says that the goal over here is for us to make a deal of a What's the difference between Boire and Nivra? Creator and the person, the being that's created. Kiviachol. Obviously, there's many differences. That the creator is a mashpia, is a giver, and the makab and the nivra, the, the thing created, is a makabel, receives. Why? Because the makabel. I don't have a, me and you. We don't have a fundamental reality. We don't really exist. We don't have mitzius meatzmi. Uh, we don't have existence. We were only created because Hashem created us. In other words, we're receivers because Hashem decided to create us. However, in order for it to be dear with Tachtoinim, the Tachtoin, the Balim, the person, the being on the Balim, has to elevate themselves to the Elyon. In other words, if it has to be not just a one-way relationship, it has to be a relationship, which by definition means two ways. So I have to be a mashpia. Not only is Hashem a mashpia and I'm the Mechabal, no, more so. I have to be a mashpia back to the Ebishter. Like it says, Nasa Shutaf When we say by Hulu and we do various things, we become a partner with Hashem. What does a partner mean? It's a two way relationship. We're both helping, we're both contributing. So much so that we see in the famous Gemara where the, where, um, the Chacham didn't agree with the Baskal that came to Shemaim regarding a certain Allah. What did Hashem say? You won me over. In other words, you were victorious. Why? Because it's a relationship in which we could be victorious on HaKadosh Baruch himself. In other words, it's, sometimes Hashem wins and sometimes we win. A mind-blowing concept, this final concept, this idea that Hashem doesn't only want us to do, but He wants us to, to be a mashpia in a way to Him. Literally, that we add value in this world. And therefore, if Shlach was a mitzvah and it wasn't our choice, then ultimately we would just be doing a tzivari habayda, commandment from the Creator. So we're still a makabel, we still receive, but when it happens, l'daytcha, in your own mind, you do it through your own koyach, through your own strength, through your own intelligence, through your own initiative, you become a mashpia, because you did it from your own mind. And that's why we have the story of the Maraglim at the beginning of the parsha, because not only is this idea of, of, the, of the going to Eretz Yisrael a concept that applies in every mitzvah, like we said, that every mitzvah is about making a uh, to Eretz Yisrael, but even the method, how it happened, shlach lecha, ledaitcha, shlach, you have Moshe Rabbeinu, you send even that idea is so fundamental on every single mitzvah that we become partners with Hashem. So these insights, one after another, the insight of why Moshe Rabbeinu, what, what, what they did wrong, that they, they asked if instead of how. The question that we asked and we explained that Hashem would never give us something that we cannot do just like another person, so therefore it must be that you're able to do it, any mitzvah you do. And therefore, we then said the next insight that why does th this idea that Hashem gives us the strength to do everything Manifest in Eretz Yisrael, coming into Eretz Yisrael, because that is, the, the in micro, every single mitzvah we do is about making Eretz Yisrael, about revealing godliness in this world. And we explain then why it's not a mitzvah to remember every single day um, the mitzvah of coming into Eretz Yisrael. Why? Because it's in every single thing we do. Then we explain this idea of having kavana and you have to in have intention before, just like the Asur, just like the Yidden have to check it out as Yisrael, so too we have to have the Kavana before we go into something. And finally, we said, 
Why? It had to be Ledaitcha. Why it had to be our choice? And we also answered the first question, why is Shlach Lecha the idea of the whole Pasha, even though the Pasha talks about other things, because ultimately this idea of going into Eretz Yisrael and transforming the world is the concept of every mitzvah, including obviously Tzitzis and any other mitzvah in this week's 